Cringe! In this moment of sobriety, as Derek Cora has passed at the age of 69, I would like to reflect upon his long career as a fraud, probably, actually. He seems to have been a person who used cold reading techniques, uh, common tricks, theatrics, uh, fake possession, and a whole bunch of other theatrical methods over the years. He had acting lessons at one point, he uh, learns how to play a role, he wasn't very good, but as a psychic you don't need to be good if you're basically surrounded by the credulous and the willfully ignorant. So over the years he carried out many readings, many practices, was mocked on occasion, but all in all he simply managed to make himself quite wealthy by carrying out this act. Most people when they act poorly they're lucky to get work even work in the background of some soap. But in his case, by playing the role of the psychic and the medium, he was able to tailor a great following, sell many books, and appear on a great many TV shows, including several documentaries. Best known for his time on Living TV's Most Haunted. These people tend to do magician's tricks and get away with bloody murder in that respect, but at least they're not knocking door to door trying to steal someone's life savings. No, they just charge 20, 30, 50 quid a ticket at a local venue for people to go and watch a person pretend to talk to the dead.